Yes, uh, ladies, and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, uh, welcome to uh, tonight's uh, uh, Haitian American uh, TV show. Uh, today I have uh, D, uh, the only one, or do you think we have more than one? More than one. You know, the queenest uh, among all the queens. <laughs> from uh, the Haitian uh, <laughs> Museum. Uh, Miss uh, Sean Thurman, uh, who has been running the show in the background uh, for a long time, and uh, today happens to be uh, a guest, and, uh, and she's going to close the year uh, for you, for us, with all the good wishes that uh, we should expect uh, from the Haitian Museum, uh, also from, uh, from Chicago. Madam, welcome. Thank How do you, you do? Thank you, sir. I am wonderful. It's good to be here. Um, actually, I've been honored to uh, work with the museum for really almost since its inception, five years ago. Um, uh, so it's an honor to be here at the close of this fifth year and to just kind of talk about what that experience has been like for me. Yes, I mean, uh, uh, since uh, the public will know that today, uh, the baton will be passed uh, to me, and uh, I uh, already uh, feel like uh, uh, probably it's going to be very difficult for me to fit into your shoes, you know, <laughs> if I need to put it like that. Uh, uh, I hope that uh, regardless if you uh, uh, if you want to so-called retire, uh, you know, uh, uh, getting into po Alabama politics. Uh, I was told that, by the way, you were in Alabama last week. Absolutely, uh, I was. Uh, I was in Alabama and... Uh, pushing the people for uh, last night's vote or what? Exactly. I, I was there to put the pressure on to get the people out. And uh, I was successful. You are successful. <laughs> I, I, I have a great advice for you. Uh, don't uh, say that too loud because starting tomorrow, you can be in uh, someone's uh, tweet, uh, you know, from the left, from the right, and uh, from the center. Uh, yeah, I, I think there's probably a whole lot more people who have louder voices that um, will be in someone's Twitter messages uh, for, as a result of the election results, so. Okay, uh, I also, uh, I know that uh, you mentioned it was, it has been, uh, what, uh, five years since you are, uh, you, are, you are with the, the Asian American uh, Museum family. Could you, could you tell me uh, how was it? I mean, uh, how was it uh, for you to start with them? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, were you, uh, tell me uh, your versions of how the story started. And my version is the truth, so help me God. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I forgot to bring the Bible. That's another part. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, my hand's up to God. But um, I actually um, became involved, uh, well, I guess about after the museum was started, about uh, six months after. Um, I worked with uh, one of the founders, Elsie Hernandez, and um, we did projects together. We did grant writing together. And um, shortly after we started working together, um, of course, the earthquake devastated Haiti. And one of the staff members said to me, uh, we have to do something. And so we... Uh, when you said staff member, I mean, it was the museum? Or? No. Um, to clarify, this was staff members at a hospital that Elsie and I both worked at. Oh, I see. A small community hospital. And uh, the staff was uh, like family um, and very good-hearted. And so uh, I went to the president and said, the staff wants to do a fundraiser. Um, she set parameters for us, uh, said we have two weeks to do whatever we wanted to do. Um, we decided we wanted to raise $10,000 in that two-week period. And the community that we served, um, if they came out in mass numbers to donate, that was easily possible. But it was not likely that we would get the numbers 
So we, we also involved um, the, the broader community of the hospital, uh, including physicians, and, and they reached out to friends. And so uh, we raised the $10,000 and some change in a two-week period uh, and donated to uh, the relief effort. Yes, uh, a hundred percent of those dollars. <laughs> well, uh, you know, we are not going to count uh, dollars tonight. <laughs> Probably we'll be talking about art. Uh, uh, basically, uh, the money was sent to Haiti, but uh, uh, the museum uh, is there. Uh, you, LC and Serge, I presume, uh, Ernst. Uh, Ernst. You know, yes, yes. Uh, work hard to move from the south side to the north side, and uh, this is uh, when and where more people. I've heard about you. Mm -hmm. uh, now the move on the north side. Uh, I realize that uh, the, the as a Haitian institution or Haitian American institution, uh, the, the the small museum that you have uh, attracts uh, attention. Maybe now let's say it all over the world. Mm -hmm. You have people coming to Chicago. They said they have to visit the Haitian community. I see that uh, you're doing a big show with. A big institute, the Waterloo Center for the Arts. Uh, uh, how this project, uh, you know, uh, just uh, come, you know, to be uh, a reality for you, uh, working with the uh, the film museum, working mm -hmm. with uh, various uh, uh, museums around Chicago. You know, how did that happen? Actually. Um Elsie has worked very hard, uh, the president of the Haitian American Museum, has worked very, very hard to establish partnerships with a number of organizations, and uh, she's done so successfully, um, and in particular with the Waterloo Center for the Arts uh, in Iowa. I think they boast of having the largest collection of Haitian American art. So that was important to her to um, make the connection and to uh, get to see what they had and to see how we could partner um, to share some of that art uh, with the Chicago audience or for the greater Chicago audience. So uh, she has worked not only with um, uh, Kent Shankel, who is the executive director, of the Waterloo Center for the Arts, but also with uh, the University of Chicago, and I think you probably have some information you will share. Yes, a we will share a movie that was uh, made uh, uh, with the with the Haitian uh, uh, Museum. Yes. yes, and so the audience today will get a chance to see um, uh, how that project went. Um, the Council General uh, Leslie Conde. This is the ha Haiti Council General. Um, has been extremely supportive to the museum and to the efforts um, made. Um, and, and maybe we should just say now that the whole purpose of the museum is to uh, highlight um, Haitian art and culture. And so um, that is very much in line with what Mr. Conde is here in America doing on a full-time basis. Of course, uh, the president of the DuSable du Heritage Association is um, Serge, Dr. Serge Pierre-Louis, who um, has been extremely um, helpful. And we, to him, we, we certainly share information about what his organization is doing. Uh, for a number of years, he's pushed to have uh, DuSab recognized as the founder and uh, in a way that is honorable, very honorable, as we do other heroes. So uh, we have worked with him on that. So th there's a give and take um, with the partnerships uh, that have been established, and, and we're grateful. Uh, we've been able to bring some art here uh, from, for instance, uh, the Waterloo Center for the Arts. Um, wow. We've had artists come from Haiti um, artists in residence. Oh wow! Super. To come here yes. uh, from Haiti, yeah. uh, including uh, Jean Yves Hector, uh, who is a very young artist who came here right after graduating from high school and 
and uh, uh, spent time at the museum creating art and displaying his art at various locations, including public libraries uh, and other organizations. Of course, uh, Mr. Fritz Milbois uh, is a renowned artist who um, is known very well in the Chicago market. Um, was also the other artist in residence at uh, the Haitian American Museum. But I, I was told that uh, this year was a very busy uh, year for you guys. You did uh, the, the Baron Sandy show at the, uh, at the Festival of, uh, of Death, uh, you know, downtown Chicago. You did uh, that uh, show with uh, the, uh, the Waterloo Museum. Uh, I attended the uh, some of the activities in, in Waterloo, Iowa, mm -hmm. and uh, Mrs. Uh, Hernandez and uh, the art two Haitian artists from Chicago, uh, you know, spoke at uh, during the conferences. And uh, you have done a, a nice and beautiful show with uh, some Polish organizations as far as the uh, participations of the Polish uh, Polish. Uh, uh, community, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and to the the last uh, independence uh, war in Haiti. Mm -hmm. uh, but how can you guys uh, do all that uh, with a very small uh, staff, or basically, let's put it that like that, a non-existent, uh, yeah. non-paying uh, <laughs> non staff? Um, you know, I think you have to have a passion for doing when you when there is not compensation and when there is um, great demand for your time to uh, establish relationships and partnerships and and uh, create programming just as any large museum uh, require staff we require it however uh, we depend on volunteers because none of the staff uh, is paid. I think at one point um, uh, a staff per a, a receptionist was being paid part time, um, but that couldn't last long with uh, the cost of um, rental of space uh, increases. It's just not possible to pay staff at this point. So um, it's it's just been. A blessing that the museum has been able to do as much as it has been able to and the fact that uh, people who are committed dedicated and interested in the mission and vision um, of Hammock uh, have come to Hammock to work. Uh, Mrs. Thurman, uh, do you mind if I call you a uh, show? Please do. Oh, yes, uh, uh, tell me is this uh, is she one uh, Haitian maid or the, uh, you, you, uh, you know, I, I mean, is this uh, that Haitian attraction who's keeping at the, at the museum? Uh, Actually, I am not Haitian to my knowledge. Oh, I see. Uh, truthfully, can you take a DNA test? <laughs> you know, I, I need to do that. But I have a, a passion, uh, you know, I think Many of us are fortunate enough to live our passion and, and to live our truth. Um, I am I'm not Haitian, but I'm attracted to good projects and worthy projects. And I think the museum, the uh, Haitian American Museum of Chicago, is a project, as I call it, that uh, is worthy of quality um, time and attention. And I'd like to see uh, the museum grow, and I'd like to see um, more people come aboard so that uh, it is not so stressful on uh, the volunteers that are active. Now let's see something about the, the museum right now, and uh, what did they do, and what's their role? I would say um, hard to find. Uh, divisive, um, hard working, not healthy. No, nobody coming together. Everybody got their own portion of food. Uh, you know, 
may be able to cooperate and do things the right way. I don't know how much. Uh, we could do a better job. Then. In the Haitian community, there are a lot of things that you cannot talk about. You cannot talk about being gay. You cannot talk about being a lesbian. You cannot talk about uh, uh, being a, uh, a, a Buddhism practitioner. There are all these things you cannot do. In, in the base of that, you cannot have it. Hey, the museum plays a big role. I think what we need to do is find a way to bring together what already exists. We have different organizations, just like we did for the uh, Hurricane Matthew. Once you have children dancing, doing art, and then performing, parents will come because they like to support their children. I hope the Haitian American Museum, as a non-threatening institution, will be able to gather all the Haitians in Chicago. If you like, took advantage of social media. We could really broadcast our presence in Chicago. Man, uh, just like I was saying, this is a, this is a, a lot for someone to have uh, and uh, their shoulder, shoulders uh, to be able to do all that, to uh, you want to reunite uh, the Haitian community, and uh, uh, I, I know as a uh, host only, uh, it is a very uh, small thing contribution that I can uh, uh, make. But uh, is this the reason why you are running away from uh, the museum? <laughs> no, actually, I have. Um, I'm committed to whatever organization. I am involved with, I've been involved with uh, the National Association of Black Social Workers since uh, 1974. Um, and also with, uh, I'm a current volunteer at the William Leonard Public Library in Robbins, Illinois. Um, those uh, are all small organizations like Hammock. Um, who don't have uh, sufficient funds to, to operate, and so there's a lot of fundraising. And this year uh, took its toll on me, in addition to family responsibilities uh, increasing, and so um, I must take leave in order to replenish and refresh. The and so, and, and therefore, yes. in comes Owen Leroy. Mm. <laughs> the guilty one. Now, uh, uh, this is not a fake news, and, and I guarantee you, I, I will not uh, uh, put my hands anywhere in the sky. Uh, by the way, I cannot see the sky here. Therefore, when you put uh, your hands here, it, it was uh, It was fake. Deep, huh? Yes, yes. Well, uh, according to uh, the conversation I had with uh, Sir Charles back in the side, uh, he says that it is very important for me to take a look at your art collections and uh, tell me about that a little bit, you know. Well, actually, I, I mentioned to you earlier that, that we had two artists in residence uh, at Hammock, and uh, my collection is small but impressive, and uh, it happens to be the work of Jean-Yves Hector and Fritz Milvois. Um, I just love color. Uh, I love patterns. And um, so the, the work that these two gentlemen did is just so impressive. I could not afford the larger pieces to cover my walls like I would like, but uh, I was able to get some small pieces. Uh, yes, and some small pieces. And uh, I, I, just like I just said earlier, with, uh, uh, with the, uh, the suggestions made by Sir Charles, uh, I hope I could bring some Haitian food uh, by being Haitian myself and take a look at that uh, beautiful collection. Oh, of course. Now, uh, you, an American... And by the way, speaking of Sir Charles, I think he talked about running for public office. Of the arts or public office of the sports or public office of what? Uh, something. Something. Yeah, I, I got a call from his people. He wanted me to 
to. Uh, <laughs> and you see us right. This is uh, not uh, not any, fake news. This is not fake news. It might be fake news. Uh, uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, uh, made for TV. I yeah. mean, uh, we can play one on TV. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Uh, uh, now, uh, what kind of collaboration? Yes, you are you are an American, mm -hmm. and uh, we know that uh, the black uh, uh, community, uh, with their connections with uh, Gisable, uh, you know, born in uh, Saint Domingue, uh, former uh, French colony, became Haiti. Uh, what kind of contributions uh, there is? Uh, contributions there are between uh, the museum the Asian American Museum and the black community at large? Uh, well, in general, as you know, I mentioned the significant uh, involvement from the African American community with the fundraising. But in terms of ongoing, it's at you know, the, the a greater part of what is happening is, I think, what Hammock is doing with educating um, Americans in general about Haiti and um, and its uh, uh, struggle uh, right now uh, and the successes of uh, of Haiti prior to their independence even um, so I think just getting information out to the public so that the public understands the history uh, the culture of Haiti is important. Um, one of the things that draws me to um, Hammock is the fact that it focuses on uh, getting information out to the public and people may not have otherwise had the opportunity or taken the opportunity to learn about Haiti but of course uh, Haiti was thrust into the highlight when uh, when the earthquake occurred there and so there was more curiosity more discussion uh, on the airwaves about uh, Haiti so I think that uh, one the interest has been piqued about uh, Haitian culture and of course with uh, the museum Haitian art uh, because I think what happens uh, is that we probably lump all the Caribbean islands together and say Caribbean art. Yes. So just as the art here among African Americans is diverse, uh, the same uh, goes for Haiti and other uh, Caribbean nations of color. Yes, uh, would it be possible that you could uh, maybe detail any uh, additional information as far as the address for Mark and? Uh... Oh yeah, the the library, uh, the library, the <laughs> the museum, Haitian American Museum of Chicago, is in the city of Chicago on the north side at forty six fifty four North Racine Avenue, and uh, the email address is info i n f o at H A M O C dot org. So uh, the website will be definitely uh, www dot h a m o c dot org as well. Thank you. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, as far as uh, people who don't have car, uh, what would be the best access? Uh, you know, by train or by public transportation. Do you Actually, um, the the museum is just north of Wilson Avenue. Um, Wilson Avenue is 4400 North. I believe it's 4400. So uh, if they are going to take the train, they would get off at Wilson Avenue. I don't know if that's the A or the B, but because uh, I drive everywhere. Um, but uh, the train stops um, a block or two blocks um, east of Racine. Yes. And then, so it's a short walk. Um, um, to the yeah. museum from there. Currently, uh, what are the hours, uh, the opening hours? Uh? Well, I, I would suggest that people check the website or call us uh, because because we don't have a full-time staff, that means sometimes adjustments have to be made. So, um, But the less I heard that it, it was, uh, uh, you are uh, definitely open on Friday and Saturday. 
uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, help me say thank you very much uh, for uh, Sharon Turman uh, uh, for a beautiful year. Uh, we hope that uh, it's not going to be the last time we will hear from her. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that. It's well, my pleasure. Well. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Bye-bye.